Hey you guys, it's your girl S. Catrice, and today I'm here with the 2018 resolution slash goals chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, today I'm gonna be doing this makeup look. It's just something random that I did. Um, it's red on the eyes. If you wanna see how I got my makeup and you wanna hear my 2018 goals and resolutions, then keep on watching. What's up everybody? As you can tell by the title, I'll be doing the chit chat get ready with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that my brows are done, I do have a shirt by the way. <laughs> now that my brows are done, I'm gonna conceal my eyes and then I'm gonna um, um, set my face before I do my makeup to help with the oil. And I'm just gonna be using the MAC NW45 um, concealer and this BH Cosmetics brush to conceal my eyes. So today I just wanted to talk about um, my 2018 resolution slash goals. I'm not gonna call them a resolution because most of the time when we call our goals resolutions, it usually doesn't get accomplished. So I'm calling them my 2018 goals. I have them written down and I have them on my laptop that I use every day. So every day I see my goals. Um, one of my main goals this year is to reach a thousand followers on my YouTube channel. And by doing that, I am going to try to at least, no, I am going to at least upload an extra video a week alongside, so I already upload a vlog every week, and now I'm going to try to upload, I am going to upload an extra video every week, so at least two videos a week. And by doing that, I'm going to... Um, do makeup videos or hair videos about my hair company or just challenges, different things like that. So that's one way I am going to gain my followers. I'm already at 200 something. I lost count because it wasn't growing. Um, it stopped growing after I stopped being consistent. Y'all know what, at one point in time I was uploading two to three videos a week um, last year. And I stopped because of um, mostly a Naya schedule messed up. And then I was traveling a lot um, within the last two months of 2017. So I kind of lost my focus. And I kind of lost my drive too. Um, I stopped doing a lot of things. I started being very lazy because I just wasn't motivated and things weren't going my way. So... Um, that's one that's one goal for 2018 and that's one goal I am going to stick to that's one goal you know that I've been trying to reach for a long time so that's what I'm going to do um, another goal I want to achieve is now I'm going to take my black opal setting powder in the color medium um, and I'm going to set my eyes and my face. Well, first, let me just spray what well, yeah, Let me set my eyes first. And I'm just going to use a random foundation brush. Um, what? Another goal I have for this year is to gain $12,000 in profit um, for my business. And by doing that, I have a lot of work to do. Um, to me, getting profit was a goal from last year, which I did not break even. So this year, I want to at least break even and make profit. And by doing that, I have to put myself out there more. Um, I might not seem shy, but I am a little shy when it comes to talking to people especially about a product. Um, I've never been good at persuading people. That's just one thing I don't do. Like, I remember even in high school, we had a writing prompt for um, a test we had to take to get out of school. And you had to either persuade or explain. And I prayed to God before I took the test that I got an explaining prompt because I just, I'm not the type to persuade. I, it's hard for me to persuade. If you don't like it, I'm just like, okay, you don't like it. Like, I'm not going to sit there and try to persuade you to get something you don't like. And that's what that's what you have to do. If somebody, you know, they're like, uh, you know, I already buy hair from somebody else. You have to persuade them to buy from you. 
And that's just one thing I have to work on because I've never been that type of person. Be like, girl, don't buy from her. You know, I got the best hair, blah, blah, blah. Even though I do have the best hair, it's just, I don't know, it's just in my spirit. I just can't, you know, seem to get myself together to do that. And that's just one thing I'm going to have to do. Um, so I have to put myself out there. I have to build my brand as far as the business. I have to make sure people know about me. I have to make sure that I'm going to events. I have to make sure that I'm just out in the public. I'm setting my face with the <laughs> NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Um, this is a trick I learned from a YouTuber. She set her face with spray and powder first and then she does her makeup and then she um, sets it again at the end so it helps with the oiliness. And I tried this when I went to my interview um, on my last vlog. If you noticed, I said on my last vlog, but I didn't come back and say how it was. And I think it did pretty good. So we're going to try it again today and we're going to see how it works out. So now I'm going to set my teeth on, chin, and under my cheek. Well, my cheeks. Um, another way that I can build my brand um, is to learn how to do graphic design. That's one thing I struggle at. Like, I do not. Like, to me, I've always never been creative, but I can be creative if I see something creative and I try to, like, mimic it, but I make it my own. That's the only way I could come up with something very creative. Like, most of the things you see on the website as far as design and the banners, I created. But I also used a template. Like, I saw somebody else's banner. I was like, ooh, that's kind of cute. Let me try to make something like it. And that's how I did that. And so a goal for me this year is to learn how to use Photoshop and um, any other graphic design tool. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> I got my mouth, y'all. Um, another goal I have for this year is to remain positive. Um, I tend to reflect on all the things that go wrong in my life, and I start to just think negatively. And once you think negatively, negative things happen, and that has happened to me this past year. And it has not been fun. Like 2017 was not the year for me. I just felt like everything went wrong. Nothing went right. And I just, I couldn't deal. Like I broke down a lot. I cried a lot in 2017. And I just didn't feel like nothing good happened besides the birth of Anaya. That's the only thing I felt like was positive. Oh my gosh. Oh, my freaking shirt. I felt like nothing positive happened in 2017 besides Anaya. And that kind of deterred me from doing a lot of things. In 2015, I didn't want to go anywhere most of the time. I didn't want to talk to nobody. And I didn't feel supported. You know, I was just, I was just thinking about all the negative things that happened and more negative things happened. So this year, I'm going to try to remain positive. Being positive is very hard to do. Being negative is very easy to do. So, I'm just gonna try to focus on positive. Think about what ha what God has done for me within these past years and how far I've come as a person. Now I'm gonna be using my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the color Golden Toffee. And I'm gonna be using this Cleo Cosmetics brush. I'm not sure which brush it is, but to me it's like a kabuki brush, so that's the one I'm using. And I'm going to just use two squirts of the foundation. Another goal I have for myself is to be more confident in my club. Um, if you don't know me, well, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I've always been um, insecure about certain parts of me. And that's just 
going up with people is saying like, of course I know I have big lips, but my lips were one thing that I just did not like for a long time. Like, I just started liking the fact that I have big lips. Um, I used to get picked on in high school, not like bullied, but you know, a lot of guys would say something about my lips and I just didn't like that. And to me, it was very disrespectful. And uh, it made me insecure about my lips. Like I went and talked to a guy because I knew they were looking at my lips. And so that kind of kept me from having a lot of guy friends, even though a lot of people don't care about having guy friends. Um, having guy friends is fun. Like you learn a lot about a lot of things. Like even if it's not about you, you learn a lot about how guys think. And so I cherished my guy friends at college because they taught me a lot of stuff about the game, um, the game of life, and what how guys think about girls, and you know, different things. So, um, a way that I feel confident. I know I'm a pretty girl. I know, you know, I'm beautiful, as I know somebody's gonna say. But to me, I can look better. Like the one thing I've been working on is my skin. If my skin was clear. I would feel more confident. I'm working on fixing my teeth, even though they're not bad, but there's things on my teeth. Like, you could just, looking at me from the front, you might think I'm missing teeth, but I'm not. They're just curved in. And so, I've been working on getting my teeth fixed. Um, teeth, skin, and I've been working on growing, on growing out my hair. My hair is my biggest problem. I've had a problem with my hair since in middle school. Ever since I got my hair cut in fifth grade, my hair has never grown how it used to. Um, it goes to one point and it just stops. So I've been working on um, trying to get it past that point. And just these, I think since I've been, I was pregnant, my hair has been so hard to manage. Like. I used to wear my natural hair all the time. I used to, you know, have all these different styles that I wear my hair in. But now it's so hard to even get my hair to look good. Like I have to put so much oil or whatever on it for it to look like it's not dull. And that's not, you know, very flattering. And it's not easy. And it's just too much work. So that's why I wear my wigs a lot. And I try to wear my own natural hair every now and then but i end up putting the wig back on because it's just too much and after a day or two i'm over it and i'm just like past the wig so those are three things i'm working on as far as my image to help me become more confident and um one thing that helps me be confident is my makeup i love to wear makeup and it helps me um i don't know it just it brings me more confidence and I can say that because, you know, I've worn my makeup. Oh, now I'm using this Heart Candy Look Pro Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette and I'm using this red color and putting it in my crease and on my lid. But, um, yeah, makeup has built my confidence. I started wearing makeup. I kind of started wearing it in high school, just really eyebrows. Um, eyeliner in high school. Um, it was eyeliner and I just, you know, kind of tried to fill in my eyebrows, but it wasn't that cute. And I started wearing that plus lipstick in my freshman year. And then after my freshman year, it was full-fledged makeup. But, uh, I feel like I did my makeup better at that point because I wasn't really trying. I just put it on. But um yeah. So makeup was like my way of becoming more confident. Like I would wear it to practice. I was wearing makeup every single day. And then one day I didn't wear makeup and somebody said I looked sick. So I stopped wearing it um as much. So I kinda lost my foot in with makeup at that point. But makeup I know it's not supposed to be, you know, what makes you confident, but it's what makes me confident. When I go out and I want to look good, I put on makeup because I feel like, okay, so my camera died and I do not remember where I left off. 
So I'm just gonna start with my next go and hopefully <laughs> it works because I have no idea what I said. But all I did while the camera was off was um, conceal under my eyes where the extra eyeshadow fell. But um, now I'm going to line my eyes with my black radiance. Um, let's see. Yes, with my black radiance uh, fine line liquid eyeliner pen. Um, what's my next goal? I'm going back to my handy dandy elf eyeliner. So much darker. And now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Collection False Splash Drama Mascara. I'm just gonna do my top um, lash line. I guess that's what you said. Now I'm gonna apply my mint lashes that I used to sell on my site, but I no longer sell them. And they're in um, style number nine. Another goal, another goal that I have for this year is to get back being fit. Um, I kind of gave up on working out when I got pregnant. Um, before then, it was just very minimal workout. But um, I gave it all up um, once I found out I was pregnant because I don't know. It's when I was pregnant, I wasn't like the happiest pregnant woman. You know how most people are so excited to be pregnant. I wasn't the happiest, and um, a lot of things were going on that really deterred me from being happy. So, hold on y'all, Kayla, hold on. All right, now that I'm done talking to Kayla, my eyelashes are on. Um, back to my goal. My goal uh, was to be fit. Like I was saying, I wasn't the happiest during my, especially the first term of my pregnancy. I was crying all the time. And I tell you, like every other day I was crying. Like Nobody knew except for Jerome, but I was just so upset, nothing was going right, um, my body didn't feel good, I wasn't eating because I felt sick, and it was just a lot. So, um, I just stopped working out, and towards the end of my pregnancy, I was like, you know what, you know, I need to start working out, it'll help with my, you know, birth, and all of that. Y'all think I worked out? No idea. And then I did my workout series on my channel. And, you know, that was going good, but I wasn't getting the results I wanted. I didn't feel like, you know, it was enough burn, even though it was burning me during the workout. But afterwards, I wouldn't feel that burn. So, but it always took a lot for me to feel the burn when it comes to workouts. Like, even when I was in college, cheering, we could be doing the toughest workouts. And uh, especially when it comes to my abs. And I wouldn't feel it because, I don't know, Maybe because I already had tight abs, so it took a lot for me to feel like, oh, I got a workout today. Um, in my ab area, everything else would be slow, of course, but in my ab area, it just would not get sore unless we did only abs at practice. And, you know, I had a six pack in college, so I'm really trying to get back to that. And um, yes, Jerome is a great workout trainer or whatever, but at the same time, he annoys me. <laughs> so, in the middle of the workouts, half the time, y'all, I have an attitude because he'll say something or I ask a question and he like, no, I'm the trainer, you be quiet. And I'm like, oh, excuse me, like that. So, I just stopped doing it. I started doing it on my own for a while, then I just stopped. So, my goal for this year is to get out and go to the gym. I feel like when I'm out, in a gym where there's other people, I tend to get a better workout. When I'm at home, I slack or I just don't do it. So, um, I'm going to start going back to the gym so that I could get that workout that I'm looking for. Um, I had another goal. Oh, another goal for this year is to travel outside of the country. Um, Take a vacation. I haven't vacationed at all since I've been to Costa Rica, and that was in like 2014. So it's been a while. I haven't been out the country since then. I haven't taken a vacation since then. Since then, I've been working. 
like every summer I've worked um, either, you know, a great job or not so great job, or I've been home or um, moving, you know, anything, something. It's always something, it's nothing like just leisure. I've never had just leisure time to myself during the summer since then. So um, that's a goal for this year. I wanna go out of the country. If it's in the summer or if it's in December, um, I just, before the year is up, I plan on going out of the country. Like I've already looked up places. I've already looked at, you know, deals as far as um, like where to stay and things to do. I've looked at all of that. So that's real. And one thing that made me want to do that is watching Moana. If you've never watched Moana, that's a great uh, kids movie. And I think it just sparked the plug, sparked the plug. It just sparked the idea that, you know, I want to go out the country again. And so once I'm able to get the money that I want, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start saving up for it. Oh, that was the black opal true color um, cream stick foundation, but I use it as my contour and this is in the color black walnut. So um, yeah, that's another goal for this year. Um, ooh, another great goal I have for this year is to get Anaya a brand deal. Um, Anaya is a personality in itself and I feel like she would be great as someone's model or um, you know maybe when she's one to do a little acting or something because that girl is a mess y'all like if you don't follow me on snapchat follow me on snapchat at Els Catrice because this girl she is the star of my snapchat like you don't even you barely see me now because she is so funny. Like, I swear to y'all, whenever I put her on Snapchat, if the, if the flashes are on front camera, she's not gonna smile, she's not gonna do anything. Once I turn that flash on, she knows it's time to play. Like, she starts laughing, she starts screaming, she starts rolling around, like, she's a mess and she's so funny. So, um, my goal is to get her some kind of contract, some kind of deal so that she you know, can put her face out there and maybe become a child star, you know, never know. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of the other goals I'm writing down. That's most of them. Oh, another goal is to graduate. Um, I was supposed to graduate this May, but because of Anaya being born when she was born and you know, me and Jerome trying to figure out, you know, this work schedule and, you know, life. Um, I didn't go to school this past semester. So that's two classes I missed out on, missed out on. And I had to change my concentration because I wasn't going to be able to do study abroad when they wanted me to do study abroad. Because with Clayton State, um, the international program you have to study abroad in your program that's a class and it's like it's only a, like a week worth of class but at the same time you have to pay buku money like you have to pay to go on a vacation for a week by yourself that's basically what you're paying to go study abroad with Clayton State like over two thousand dollars um and you have to pay it in a short amount of time and you know I you know I ain't balling so it was advised to me to change my major, and that's what I did. I went from um, international business to, y'all, oh, I tried to look at myself. <laughs> I went from international business to sports and entertainment management. So, um, yeah. So I had to figure out, you know, exactly what I want to do with my master's. Honestly, the only reason why I got I'm getting my master's is because I didn't want to go back home after gradu graduating. Um, I wasn't planning on getting my master's after college. I was done. And I should have stopped because now I feel like I'm lost in life. I don't know what I want to do. I could have had a job within that time that I was you know, in school. So, 
yeah, I had to figure out exactly what career path I want to take or, you know, even if I, do I even want to go into the career path? Do I want to just focus on owning my own businesses? Because I am going to own multiple. Um, you know, that's what I've been thinking about. What am I going to do with this sports entertainment and sports and entertainment management degree like am I gonna go be somebody's agent I'm sure I can do that I mean I'm sure it's not super hard but I know it's gonna be hard to get into or to get that credibility or to even you know you know get put in that space I kind of have a foot in with my brother if I wanted to but you know I kind of want to do it on my own if I go into that path you know that's a big if and if I don't, what other businesses am I gonna own? Like, what kind of work is it gonna take? And it's just a lot to think about as far as my degree. What is wrong? You need to hurry up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. I don't know, it's kinda a lot to think about. Now I'm going to be using my new blush palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to apply my blush. Um, I usually use this color right here at the top. I just dab some of that. I actually dab a lot of that and I will lightly tap it onto my cheeks. Now I'm going to add my highlight using this color at the end. Same color I've been using. And I put a lot on my brush, but I lightly put it on. See how that looks? I'm gonna blend it out though. All right now I'm going to spray my face again with the setting spray. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have as far as my 2018 goals. Um I'm gonna try my best to accomplish them. I've written down ways to accomplish them and when I look at it every day, it just reminds me how much more I have to work at it. And, um, oh, another goal. I want to open another, not another, I want to open a store location for my hair company so that um, I have a place where people can come and actually pick up their hair. I have inventory, you know, I won't have to worry about ordering it all the time, so. That's another big goal for this year. All right, now I'm gonna apply my wig. This is the Bella Wave Texture. This is freshly washed. I didn't put any product. I didn't comb it, nothing. So this is the texture that it looks when you get done washing it. May I help you? Hey. <laughs> no nudity. being weird all right so this is what the texture look like looks like after being freshly washed and it's on now I'm gonna comb it as you see no tangles I can comb straight through it no problem And that's all I'm gonna do to my hair. If you buy some bundles from my website and you want a wig made by me, I will do that for you um, for an additional charge. I'm not sure the price I'm gonna charge just yet, but I do make wigs because I make all mine. I made my sister's also. But yes, this is the hair combed out. 
once I fix my shirt. This is the hair combed out. No flat iron, no wand curl, no nothing. I just washed it, air dry, and this is the final look. So that's it for my 2018 goals chit chat get ready with me i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video